Hi there, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on the SMB Influencer website just so you can see what we're talking about here. The first thing you want to do is go to smbinfluencer.com and you can see the uh, basic site. Um, at the very top here, our some news um, items that we still have to update. Um, if you click on any of these tabs here are the six categories four five six you can see that we have journalists this will give you an idea of just sort of um, who the people are uh, that fit into each category and also how the nominations are written which I think is key um, you can see there now one important thing is that we we have bloggers also listed as um, journalists as well as people who write for newspapers and cover small business. Uh, you know you can use maybe anyone from Cranes or Wall Street Journal or anything like that. So you can see that each category is defined right there and this is the news outlets category. And you can see the ones that are listed there corporations you can see that leaders so each category you can see is really defined here executives academics government officials or key employees who are part of organizations right so this leaders are really ideal for people that are just in larger organizations overall experts those would be people like me you are basically um, a subject matter expert. You can be running your own business, uh, and in fact, you can be running a rather large business, but you're primarily an expert in a specific area. And finally, there are apps. Apps are um, tools that we use to get work done, and you can see the um, categories of apps that are there. So if you have any kind of an app that you like or think that um, is good for small business, you can add it there. Um, this is, uh, you will not be really doing this because you're going to be working in a spreadsheet, uh, but you can, this is where you would place your nomination. Like if you wanted to actually nominate someone, you could go here and place your nomination there. Another thing I'm going to show you is uh, if you have an idea for who you want to nominate, a really quick thing you can do is search here. Like let's say, I wanted to nominate HubSpot as an application. That's something that lots of us like. You can see that, see here, they were nominated last year and they were nominated this year. So if you have an idea of nominating someone, maybe the best thing to do is just search for them and see if you see something like this where it says Small Business Influencer Awards 2012, then you'll know not to include them. So that's gonna be one of the basic things that you'll want to do um, about these nominations. Okay, so now let's take a look at um, just how each of these um, nominations is written out, just so you can see. I'm gonna pick Drew McClellan, McClellan my buddy Drew here. Um, you can see basically the short skippy is uh, to uh, there are these three categories. So the first one is a description, the second one is their contribution, and the third one is why they should be named a champion. And quite frankly, when you land on somebody's bio, you probably could pull, like I happen to have done this one, and I basically, basically just pulled it from his bio. But you know, to get an idea of what to include in each section, you can um, just pick one and take a look. You can see, once again, there's a description, what the contribution is to small business, and why they should be named a champion. So, you know, a, that would be what we call accomplishments, why they should be named a champion, you know, could be anything like that. Uh, the other thing that would be good for you to know is um, that we're also collecting, I believe, that we're going to be collecting social media icons and the best you can see this here this is their website and their Twitter account you can also see let me see somebody that's 
that's got a good website and a Twitter account. That's got a full, here we go. You can see their website, their Twitter, Facebook account, and LinkedIn. Um, and that way you can, I would say that the best place to get a lot of this stuff is right on their website. You can, um, you can find a, maybe an about or something like that. I don't know that this one really has one, but you can always find some of their other links often on their website. And I've honestly just been Googling and Googling LinkedIn and Googling Twitter and so on. So that's just the basic short Skippy, and I'm going to show you how to do the a spreadsheet in a little bit.